Hello, Chef here. So I was hiking in the woods the other day and I came across these delightful edible mushrooms. Oh, look at that. Really, really nice, really beautiful. I was very careful when I removed this mushroom uh, to cut it off and leave part of it on the uh, tree or stump or wood where I found it because it'll probably come back. So real quickly, if you don't know what this one is, we call this a pheasant back mushroom. Uh, more common names are the dryad saddle, and uh, this mushroom is very widespread distribution. The exact name is a polyporous squamosus, and it's found all over North America, Australia, Asia, and Europe. And uh, this mushroom has been consumed for thousands of years. Uh, Greek mythology, uh, use this mushroom and supposedly uh, you could ride on the back of it. That's where the name pheasant's back comes from. And also the pattern is kind of like a pheasant. If you look at the pattern here compared to a pheasant's back, really similar, really cool. So uh, this mushroom has a little bit of an unusual meaty taste and flavor, texture. Uh, you want to get them while they're young and small. Otherwise, they get too rubbery, and uh, they have a slight flavor, kind of like a watermelon rind or a melon, and uh, eating it, it has a mild nutty flavor. You can prepare this any way you would a regular mushroom. Make a mushroom soup, saute the mushroom, have it with a steak, uh, all different things. If you want to learn more recipes and mushroom recipes, subscribe right there. Search this channel. You're going to find way more things about mushrooms. So that's the video. I just wanted to share with you wild mushrooms as well as foraging. And uh, I found a couple other ones. I'm going to give you a little glimpse of those babies too. They're pretty cool. All in all, I, I, I uh, harvested three of them. This is a nice one here. It's about maybe uh, half a pound or so. This one's a little bit bigger and I was very careful to leave part of it so it will continue to grow. Uh, really, really nice. And here's the smallest one. Okay, this one's only about three or four ounces here. So I'm going to uh, slice some of this, saute some of it, and share a video with you uh, in the future here, as well as maybe slice some and air dry it. Chef here, a real quick recipe using this awesome wild mushroom. Once again, it's the pheasant back. Look at that beautiful pattern. Uh-huh. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe right there. Okay, follow along. It's real simple. What I like to do when I'm prepping a mushroom like this is to first uh, brush it off if there's any dirt. Uh, anything that doesn't look edible, remove it. Uh, I get to the back of this. Well, first of all, it's kind of big. I'm going to cut it right in half. By the way, I'm sporting this awesome Santuco knife here. So once I cut it in half, uh, I'm going to look at the bottom, and that's where it's kind of a little more spongy. Maybe remove any uh, pieces off the top like this. Discard those. Actually, they're going in my stock. I'm not going to throw them away. I know how good the flavor is on this mushroom. It's really, really nice. So it's a little bit spongy here. I'm going to remove a little bit of the bottom spongy part because that's not the uh, texture I'm looking for. Just about like this, okay? Like I said, it's going in my stock. And then I'm going to take this piece of mushroom here and cut it very consistently, just like this. Uh-huh. And then once I've got those nice consistent cuts, I'm going to take them and... Uh, just make them bite size. I think I want them to be about like this. Okay, right there. I've got a sweet onion. I'm just going to be using a small piece of this onion here today. And same thing, consistent cuts. 
okay? I've got some awesome uh, fresh garlic right here. It's ready to go. It's good to go. All right, and we're going to move over to the frying pan. Show you my method here. Okay, I got a hot steel frying pan here. Going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there. Yeah. Actually, I stand corrected. We call this a small wok, and it's steel. You can get this at the sponsor there. All right. First thing I do is I'm using my bench scraper. Onions. Garlic. Just enough for the recipe. I don't want too much here. I'm going to put about, uh, I'm going to call that two ounces of onion and one teaspoon of garlic. Let it cook. Okay, to that, of course, some of my favorites, tri-colored peppercorns. Yeah, and the pepper grinder. I want those flavors from the pepper. This is kind of nice. We're going from the forest to the table, 100% organic, super healthy, and mushrooms are known to fight viruses. Think about that. Chew on that just for a moment. By the way, you can eat these raw. Some of the vegans and vegetarians I know, they love these things. I'm going to do a tasting right now while we're cooking. Oh, yeah. Like the rind of a cassava melon with a little bit of a bitter, mellow mushroom texture and taste. A little more oil. A little more salt. Oh, yeah. And we let it cook. I go to a lot of these restaurants lately and they don't know what they're doing as far as seasoning. You must taste. Oh yeah, really good. A little more salt. Okay, I'm gonna be finishing this with a little bit of expensive beer, Hackershaw. If you've never had it, seek it out, try it. Put a little bit of beer in there. Not too much, maybe two ounces. Let it reduce. Selected a plate for my appetizer. Mm -hmm. Finished mushroom. I'm gonna serve a little bit like this for an appetizer in a French restaurant. You would probably be paying, I don't know, ten euros, twelve dollars or more. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. Uh, by the way, my total cost is probably about twenty-five cents. Here we go. So I'm going to finish this plate with a little bit of uh, Herbs de Provence right across the top. 
like this. I'm also going to put a little bit of balsamic. This is 15 year. This is the good stuff. Uh, yeah, I just want a little touch, a little flavor of the balsamic on the plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enjoy this mushroom. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think. Would you eat this wild mushroom? And have you had it before? We'd like to know. It's going to be good. And uh, while I'm here, something unusual. I don't do this very often. I'm going to do a little tasting and tell you just what I think of this mushroom here. Pheasant back. Wild mushroom. Wow. It's good. Kind of like a portobello with a lot more texture, more flavor, and uh, better for you. Smash that like button, subscribe right there, get cooking, try the chef's other recipes. Have a great day. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to learn more about this mushroom, after you smash that subscribe button, just put in pheasant back and you're going to find more information. Hit up your sponsor for the knives, the butcher block, and more. I'll be back with more videos. Have a great day. Okay, I got 20 again. Yeah, you can see those are pretty nice cuts. These are precise cuts. Uh, you're not going to do this with a regular kitchen knife. Trust me. This pear is really, really ripe. And this knife is razor sharp. So already I've got a pretty neat pattern right there, right? And I ended up with uh, 20 and 20, so that's going to be uh, 40. Now I can complete that and uh, make it into 80 just by putting them back together like this and cutting right down the middle. Okay. Oh yeah. There we go, 80 really nice slices of pear. I'm gonna fold this this way and this way. Make sure you uh, leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe. Score all the cool stuff at your sponsor. Get cooking and of course for the recipe, subscribe and watch the chef's other videos. You're gonna find it. Sourdough bread, oh it's gonna be Good. Chef here, I wanted to talk to you today just real quickly about knife selection as well as knife maintenance. By the way, this set's about 10 years old, looks brand new, these knives function perfectly, well maintained, well sharpened, I take care of them. Subscribe on this channel and learn a lot more about knives and knife sets, and with that, Get cooking. Have a great day. Okay, I got my steamed asparagus on there. It's looking really good. The last thing I'm going to add to finish this drunken porterhouse recipe is some of the drunken juice right over the top like this. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right down there. 
get cooking, try the recipe, have a beautiful day. Oh yeah, I got some homemade clam chowder here. I put extra clams in there, lots of potatoes, some thyme. It's good to go. Make sure you subscribe. You can check out some of the soup recipes that I've decided to share. Black pepper, I love it. Oh yeah, let's put a little extra grind on there. If you want one, you can visit the sponsor and you can check them out right there. They got all kinds of them at the sponsor. Uh, Star anise. Oh, it's a really, really nice quality. Hard to find. And the gloves. Whole garlic. Super high antioxidant. You already know that from watching my other videos. If you want to learn more about garlic, it's real, real simple. Subscribe right down here. Put garlic in the little search engine and you're going to find all kinds of things. Garlic facts, garlic nutrition, garlic recipes, how to roast the garlic, how to chop garlic, how to mince garlic, how to dice garlic, all kinds of cool stuff. I love it and I eat a lot of it every day. Boost your immunity. Ah, time for a little snack break. This is a date nut ball, and you can find the recipe on this channel. Just search date or dates, and you're going to get it. Wow, this one's stuffed with some fruit. Looks pretty good, right? Mmm. Delicious. Subscribe right down there. Check out some of the other recipes. Yeah.
professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, many styles, all made in the USA. Countertops, walnut, oak, maple, cherry, all sizes. Contact Ah, the blocks preferred by chefs, on sale with free shipping. Professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, many styles, all made in the USA. Countertops, walnut, oak, maple, cherry, all sizes, contact sponsor. <laughs> 